What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a speed test on the Nokia Fast Mile. Now this is the first gen my, uh, Fast Mile. I do want to take a look at the new third generation Fast Mile but I don't have it at the moment but I thought let's do a video uh, basically three years later basically. Is it much better? How good it is, is it? And all that kind of stuff. And I have got to say I was quite impressed with the speeds that I was getting last night. Last night I could get up to 500 megabits. Now one interesting thing I just want to quickly note that I found, which is a bit of a interesting one, is if you connect to the Wi-Fi on the fast mile, it's sometimes exceptionally slower than if you connect another modem into the mode uh, into the fast mile and use it like that. So connect another modem in. And that way it's a bit faster. I don't know why, but for some reason the Wi-Fi on the fast mile is slow. But if you connect an internet port into another modem, it's really fast. So guys, this is the modem right here. And as you can see, we've got 5G. Um, and this is the box that comes in, all this kind of cool stuff. Don't really get much information there. But this is what I did. So here, I did find I would get on the Wi-Fi, I would get anywhere from 90 to 150 megabits. But if I plugged an internet line in, as you can see here, I plugged it into another modem. And we'll just show you where that other modem is. And that's this little um, GL iNet modem. And this is cable to one gigabit, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I found as soon as I did that, plugged an internet line into this, I got up to 500 megabits per second. So I'll be doing a speed test on both at the same time. So I'll be doing one with the Wi-Fi on the fast mile, but also I'll be doing a speed test. It's still the fast mile, it's just gonna hit it via the internet into this modem. So we're gonna do all that today and then let us know what you think down below and let's dive into it. And we'll do the speed test on an M, uh, a MacBook Pro. So yeah, we'll show you that on the MacBook Pro and then um, that's gonna be basically it for today. If you found the video helpful, let us know down below, subscribe for more. Let us know down below what you wanna see on the channel. Alrighty guys, we're in front of the MacBook right now and let's do a speed test. I'm now connected to the Nokia Fast Mile built-in Wi-Fi on that um, Fast Mile um, Nokia. So let's do a speed test. We'll do two speed tests and then we'll do one on the plugging it through the internet line into another modem. So as you can see, actually not too bad. We're getting, yeah, pretty all right. Again, this is pretty good. Like if you subscribe to this through Optus or something, I believe you get one month free and it's only like 90 bucks a month. Pretty good value for money. But in this video, it's not about the companies that provide it. It's about what service, how fast it is and that kind of cool stuff. So right off the bat, you know, we've got pretty good download and pretty good upload. Let's just do that one last time and then we're going to connect to that other modem. Still using the Fast Mile network. And that actually dropped out, which is... I don't think it dropped out, I think it's just my computer playing games. Um, yeah, okay, we're jumping a little bit quicker this time. Nearly hitting that 200 megabits per second. And I believe the upload's a slight lower. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit lower. And the upload has completed. So we got nine megabits and nearly 200 download. Now let's switch to the other modem that are connected to the fast mile. And let's see if the speed changes at all, which I believe it will. Um, but let's, let's find out first. Let's go hit go again. I probably should have closed the app and reopened it but it should be fine. So immediately, look at that, we're jumping on a higher speed. So I don't know why the Wi-Fi bars in the fast mile are slower. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So you, you're, the best option you wanna do is buy the fast mile and just buy an external modem to plug into the fast mile by using one of the internet ports on the fast mile. It's really silly, I don't know why. I've tried everything actually before doing this video. I mucked with so many settings in the Nokia Fast Mile. I could not improve the speed. I, I tried everything. I thought initially, I thought I had it in the wrong location, but I went, nah, it can't be. I've got the green light, can't be in the wrong location. Let's just do that one last time. So you guys, if you want the ultimate fast internet, you need to plug in an external modem into the um, Fast Mile. But um, if you don't really care about that and you're using like streaming, like watching TV and you've got all that connected via internet, oh, no need to buy another, no need to connect to like an external modem. 
Um, it's just, if you don't mind getting not anything over 200 megabits on the Wi-Fi on the fast mile, if that is a deal break and you want to see if you can get higher and higher, maybe buy an external modem if that helps. Here you have it guys, we have done the speed test on the fast mile and as you saw it was very interesting when you plug an external modem in, it's actually faster which makes not a whole lot of sense. If you know the reasoning let us know down below and if you want us to do any speed tests on any 5G, 4G modems let us know down below. Thanks for watching.